Good morning. Today I'm going to show you how to use this interactive geo board so that you can draw your shapes. Today's assignment is to draw the shapes based on attributes such as uh, num number of faces, sides, and angles. Um, so I sent this link in your email to this website, toytheater.com, where you can get this geo board and draw your shapes. So I'm going to show you these tools to help you understand how to use it. Um, and then you can use this to help you draw your shapes or just play around with it if you want to. Um, first thing I'm going to tell you uh, is when you're in pen mode, it will constantly draw. So you want to make sure that you have the hand and choose all your settings first and then get your pen. So I'm going to put it on the hand. I'm going to choose my color blue. And then this lets you decide how dark you want your color. So I'm going to leave it on that one. Okay. Then I'm going to get my pen. And the first one I'm going to draw is one face, three sides, and three angles. So I click here, and then it draws my pen. And I'm going to just stop right there. That's one side, two sides. And then it looks like it automatically filled it in for you, but you have to draw that last side. And now I have a triangle with one, two, three sides, and one face. And it also has one, two, three angles. So if I want to leave that there, I can, or I can hit delete and get rid of it and see how it's drawing again because I wasn't on the hand. So I need to click on the hand. If I want to change my color or the darkness, whatever I decide I want to do. Okay. Um, my next shape is four equal sides and four angles. So we'll switch it up. We'll go with red. I'll get my pen and I'm going to start here. One side, two sides. See what it did again? But this time we're coming up here, three sides. And it said four sides. It said equal. So in order to figure out if my shape is equal, I need to count these dots. One, two, three, four, five. Now let me count this side. One, two, three, four, five. So this shape is equal sides, four equal sides, four angles. Okay. Now with this shape, I'm just going to show you, um, you've got some other options down here. If you want, you can, this one will rotate it that direction. This one will rotate it back to the left. This will make it bigger. This will make it smaller. Um, this will rotate it, which you can't tell because it's an equal size shape. So you can't see that it's rotating and this will duplicate it. Look at that. And now you have two of them. Very cool. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and delete those. And I'm drawing again because I'm not on the hand. Okay, I'm going to get my pen and I'm going to choose green. And I'm going to show you another shape so that you can see this rotation if you want to play with that. So I'm going to do just a quick triangle. And then I'll show you what that looks like. So you can flip it and do it up and down. Okay, so that's what that is doing for you. And again, this will duplicate if you want to do more. And if you grab the hand, you can move those around. Pretty cool. All right. So I'm going to delete that. And the next shape is four sides and four angles, but it's not specific about being um, equal. So this time we can put our sides and I can make it longer. And now I have a rectangle still has four sides and four angles, but this time it's not equal because this only has four dots and this has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven dots. And the last one is six sides and six angles. <clears throat> okay. And when I do that, I usually start like I'm drawing a house. And then I do the same thing on the bottom. One, two, three, four, five, six. This one's a little more difficult.